Okay, so right now we're in Bogota. I flew from Calgary to New York yesterday at um, 10 a.m. I got there at like four and then I had an eight hour layover. So I just kind of chilled in New York at a food court and did some work. Um, but yeah, so we're heading to Bolivia tonight. We've had a 16 hour layover, but we want to experience it since we're here all day with a layover. So we're going to check out a couple spots and mainly just eat food. We also slept on these like really awkward looking chairs for like two or three hours. But yeah, I could not sleep on the plane at all. After arriving in Bogota, we left our bags at airport storage, went up a gondola where they only let us on for some reason while everyone else had to wait on the other side. Checked out views at the top, tried rice pudding, met a local and her two friends from the UK, got invited to a local food market with them, then headed back to the airport so we could arrive in Bolivia. <laughs> Taste us. <laughs> People everywhere. Like a little dorm room. <laughs> that morning we had breakfast in the hotel and then made our way to our car rental. Wow. <laughs> How many awkward smiles can I add to? I always room? catch you in like the corner like of the wide angle, so it's just like, it's like warped. The worst angle ever, every time. <laughs> So no one's at the car rental spot right now and apparently we have to go to a different location like four miles away so we're gonna see. Bye. <laughs> So a lot has happened in the past like 16 hours. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna explain here or if I'm just gonna do a talking head, but um, yeah, we finally made it to the car location, figuring out how to get the car and... This is how they can find me. <laughs> yeah. After finally getting the car, we made our way through La Paz and I have to say, it actually might be one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen, which you'll see more of at the end. Unfortunately, we ended right back where we started. We will. Just a cold nightmare. Are you in a car? Yeah, yeah. Round 75. Whatever, we made it. Well, we'll see. We're trying to make it again. Yeah, on the way. The car couldn't make it up one of the first hills, so we had to bring it back and find another way. Eventually, after a bit of research, we found someone who could drive us almost eight hours that day to a uni where the salt flats are located. When we arrived, the road to our hotel was flooded and muddy, so we got stuck and had to push the car out. Yeah, I was pretty done with that day. Someone from the hotel met us outside the road and was able to drive us in. Buenas noches. 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 Bu
The next morning, we checked out the hotel for a bit, then headed to meet our driver. I always get you in the corner. <laughs> How far out do we need to go? I think pretty far. Yeah. So that's all dirt, eh? Yeah. Damn. So flat. I thought it was the pool. Sorry. <laughs> it was okay. I thought it was the pool. Here, let me give me how much will you pay if Brandon goes swimming in that? Me personally, five dollars. <laughs> that was pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. 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 It's too easy. The girls told me it's too big. It's flexible. It's not a stable to transfer from there to Yeah, here. we figured that like him and I would like hold it while yeah. we drive because yeah. we really need it. It's like exactly yeah. what we need for yeah. the shots that we need. Uh, shoot. So, I mean, we go out today and do, I guess, maybe. a week. Yeah, and just see tomorrow. And then hopefully, maybe tonight we find one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. we can try after we go out for a bit because it's not raining right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We want to. As we have to drive slow because the water is salty, it's not good for yeah, yeah. the electric part for the car. Spanish is like, <laughs> uh, it's okay, but. Wow. <laughs> All right, should we do it? shooting uh, some brand stuff and then we're going to just so you know these aren't my sunglasses but the reason I'm wearing them is because I made a huge rookie mistake since we're standing on a gigantic mirror all day we didn't think about how badly the reflection could burn our eyes and skin so if you come here bring sunglasses and sunscreen we're gonna shoot a little bit for fun for the next hour and then we're gonna head back in town see if we find a mirror then we're gonna carefully bring the mirror in the Jeep that we got and hope it doesn't break and get it out here and hope we still have good conditions uh, for sunset. So this place is fucking amazing. So to pee, you literally just walk away from everyone and go for it. So this is our dedicated pee location over here next to the stormy clouds over there. So 
but Jorge just pulled up with literally a full meal. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. You came with a car. We tried. Yeah, this is nuts. Oh my god. Okay, we found this. We're gonna try to glue the mirror to it, but we can't find the person working right now. Okay, so originally, Liana's friend had a mirror for us to get in the uni and the town we're in right now. And she ended up saying she couldn't have it ready for us. Uh, so we found this other shop and they actually measured it out for us and they will have it ready in about 10 minutes. So we've been running around trying to find glue and some piece of furniture that we can put the mirror on because the thing is it's just the mirror so it's gonna be flimsy and it could break in the car when we're moving it's pretty bumpy uh we also got sunscreen because i'm burning up <laughs> we didn't really think about that um but yeah uh they just went to check i'm watching the car and then um yeah hopefully they get it and we set this up in the water and this actually works we have no idea if it's gonna work yet come all this way and <laughs> we put in a lot of effort to find all this stuff so it'd be pretty sick if it all comes together Yeah, ciao, <laughs> Crazy. Crazy people. Crazy people, you are right. So, we just found out that our driver is only available till just after sunset tomorrow. Sunrise. So we have a whole other day. We need to find another ride. <laughs> We're doing really good with car situations and transportation. I also feel like this is a really good way for me to communicate from now on. <laughs> Half my head cut off. So we, yeah, we basically have until, um, basically have until tomorrow morning to shoot this. Okay. Get it done. We did eventually make it and had just enough light to get the shoot done. I'm coming around, stay there. Now we can just be awkward in the air. <laughs> Did it. <laughs> okay, so we didn't have time to explain. Um, we had to do the shoot really quickly. I'll probably do talking head, but look at this. Crazy. We're instead of just setting up one last shot for a photo set we're doing and we'll be done. We have a mirror in the middle of this mirror, and uh, here we are. I can't believe it worked. It worked! We did it! <laughs> After that, we got back late and slept for a couple hours before waking up again so we could shoot Astro and Sunrise. Okay, we finally found some water. We shot some star pictures, and now we're waiting for the sun to rise. This is like the furthest southern point you can go. So you can't really go p past this point or else the car will get stuck. Um, we heard some flamingos, so I might get my drone up and see what we can find. As it started to get brighter, we noticed flamingos off in the distance. So I put my drone up to see if I could get a shot of them. While I was setting up my shot, they started to take off and I noticed my drone was losing battery faster than normal. Okay, so the worst, I think one of the worst possible things that could have happened was I was flying my drone to try to get some pictures of some flamingos and I did, but because we're at a higher altitude, my drone dies a lot faster, I think. I don't actually know. So my battery went from like 30% to 1%, and that was like a kilometer away. So I flew it back as fast as I could, and 
It ended up going to emergency landing. Gave me a minute warning, so I started sprinting. And unfortunately, since we're surrounded by water, it emergency landed in the water. So good news is that, or I guess the bright side is that it's a mini two. It's not that expensive to replace. Um, the bad news is that it's sitting in the salt water for a little bit, so I don't know how the car, if the car's gonna work. I'll just have to see. But yeah, lesson learned, big lesson. We're hoping that he didn't lose the drone. Yes, he fell down as well. Okay, what happened? What happened? My drone had to do an emergency landing and it wouldn't let me stop it. So it was hovering in the air for like two minutes and then it, it just landed right in the water. Oh. <laughs> I had to run and grab it. Oh. We saw you running and we were like, oh no. I know. I. Yeah, I don't know about the drone, so we'll test it later. But right now, we're gonna try this photo concept that I've had um, with this bench and reflection. Uh, see if we can get something a bit trippy. After shooting some concepts, we headed back to the hotel to rest at the spa, then hopped on a plane back to La Paz because we were definitely not doing that drive again. Checked into a new hotel, Met up with Leanna's friend Jose, who then showed us around the city. We headed up to watch sunset and I got to try some Bolivian fried chicken. <laughs> the most insane fried chicken view in the world. <laughs> Look at this. Come on, man. <laughs> what the hell?